let's talk about acclimating tropical aquarium fish. What's going on YouTube? It's Paul the Inventory King. We're talking about acclimating tropical fish and I got a special guest joining me today, Mr. Ben O'Chart. Mr. Ben O'Chart. Ben, what do you got for us? Hey Paul, thanks for inviting me on this uh, collaboration. I'm, um, I'm an old school uh, flop and dropper. And uh, when it comes to acclimating fish, I, I adhere to um, what was described by uh, John Hudson in a video a long time ago. And uh, he talked about just simply flop and dropping. And what that means is taking the fish out of the, uh, the traumatic situation he's in or she's in as soon as possible. And so um, I'll, I'll uh, float the bag and let the temperatures match up as close as possible. And uh, uh, for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, is usually enough and uh, I've found and then I simply pour the fish through a net uh, let the water pour into a bucket and uh, don't transfer any of the bag water into the tank and then I simply transfer the fish right into the tank um, I used to use long acclimation and I would drip water from the tank into the bag and uh, I think it was Rachel O'Leary that described the um, what happens, especially if the fish have come on a long transit, uh, the buildup um, of ammonia and other things in that bag from a long trip, and when you start adding tank water, the chemical changes that can occur and the trauma that can occur to that fish. So it's actually uh, better for the fish, especially after a long, a long trip, to just be flopped and dropped. And so um, I'll pour the, uh, the fish out of the bag I let the water uh, get you know go through the net, so I catch the fish. The net is suspended on the edge of the bucket, and uh, and then I simply drop the fish into the tank. If the fish is coming from a local store, I would put them into a tank with lights on. If the fish has traveled a long way in a in a sealed box, and where uh, the fish has been in darkness the entire time, I might put them in with the lights out and. Uh, that way, it, the fish, it's a little bit less of a shock for the fish. I'll usually feed the fish that are in the tank already, uh, even though, um, you know, and turn the lights out regardless because sometimes adding fish that way is a little bit easier, uh, less likely to create uh, violence, uh, aggression, uh, or an immediate like uh, singling out on a fish that's already weak from traveling. But these days, what I'm doing uh, usually is I'm using a, a quarantine tank. And uh, there's usually, there usually isn't any other fish in that tank. So um, I'll just go ahead and uh, I do have one little fish in the quarantine tank and that's just so I can kind of keep the uh, bacteria alive by having a little ammonia factory in there to feed the bacteria. So um, at any rate, that's what I do. I'm a, uh, I'm a flop and dropper and, uh, and that's what I recommend other folks do. I think it's a, it's a lot easier on the fish. It's faster. It's less traumatic. And um, I'm supposed to have some fish here from uh, Imperial Tropicals, but they didn't get here in time for me to film this video. I was going to go ahead and show you, but um, I think you know what I'm talking about. I think the people that are going to watch this video know what I'm talking about. And I haven't. I've found it to be effective. I have never lost a fish. Um, you know, after flopping and dropping. It's ne never happened, uh, unless maybe there was something else going on that turned up maybe a week or two later. That's what the quarantine tank is for, okay? All right, so thank you so much and uh, for including me in this, Paul, and, and I hope that your uh, viewers uh, get something out of this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ben, for sharing how you acclimate your fish. Um, I like the flop and drop analogy like you mentioned. Uh, it was funny and uh, so true because that is what I would assume the majority of us hobbyists do. Um, you also mentioned the dripping of the tank water into the bag water. That just sounds complicated. It's something I've never tried. Um, and uh, it seems like it just would be a lot of work, tough on the fish uh, and tough on us really. I mean, to um, having to go in such detail. So, um, 
I am the same way. I like to put the bags into the tank water so that the bag water comes up to temperature like we all do. Pour them through a net so the water goes into a bucket and then put the fish into the tank. Like you said, don't let that bag water get in there. Uh, that's playing with fire if you're doing that. And uh, if I can acclimate them in the dark, I like to. Um, where I'm from in the wintertime, it gets dark really early. So um, if I ever get fish like late in the afternoon, I'll wait for it to be dark to get them into the tank. Um, just because I feel like it resets their, their mind, it resets the fish so that, you know, they're not thinking aggression, aggression, you know, they're just um, waking up to other fish. And uh, that's just one way I like to do it if I can. It doesn't always work that way, uh, especially because I quarantine now. Um, but uh, yeah, acclimating fish is something we all have to do. It's an important part of the hobby. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Go to the description of my video and you'll see a link to Ben's channel. Head on over there and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment on the video. If you could share it, I'd love it. And stay tanked.